Is Canon on the verge of unveiling what could easily become the most talked about APS-C mirrorless camera of 2025? Because right now all signs point toward the Canon EOS R7 Mark II being positioned as a serious game-changer in the crop sensor segment. And the rumor ecosystem around this camera is exploding for a reason, with leaks, whispers, and educated speculation painting a picture of a body that could redefine what creators expect from APS-C performance in photography and video, especially for wildlife shooters, sports photographers, hybrid creators, and YouTubers who want speed, reach, and pro-level features without jumping to full frame, and at the center of all this buzz is the reported sensor upgrade, with multiple sources suggesting Canon is testing a brand new stack APS-C CMOS sensor in the 33 to 40 megapixel range, which if true would immediately put the R7 Mark II into rare territory, because a stacked sensor isn't just about higher resolution, it's about dramatically faster readout speeds, significantly reduced rolling shutter, better electronic shutter performance, cleaner motion rendering, and a much higher keeper rate when shooting unpredictable action like birds in flight, motorsports, or fast-paced field sports. And when you combine that rumored sensor with Canon's DIGICX processor plus an updated accelerator chip, you're looking at a camera that should feel substantially more responsive than its predecessor, with faster boot times, deeper buffers, quicker image review, and most importantly, next-level autofocus calculations that allow Canon's deep learning AF system to lock onto people, animals, birds, and vehicles with even greater confidence, precision, and stickiness, even in low-light or cluttered environments. And one of the most disruptive rumors tied to the R7 Mark II is the idea that Canon may completely remove the mechanical shutter, leaning fully into a high-speed electronic shutter design capable of up to 40 frames per second which would be a massive shift for an APS-C body at this price point, delivering silent shooting that's ideal for wildlife hides, indoor sports, ceremonies, street photography, and documentary work where the sound of a shutter can ruin the moment, while also eliminating mechanical wear and reducing blackout, and for anyone who has ever missed the decisive frame because of viewfinder lag, shutter blackout, or buffer hiccups, this alone could be the feature that changes how you shoot day to day, but speed without stability means nothing, and Canon seems to understand that, because another major rumor suggests the R7 Mark II could deliver up to 8.5 stops of in-body image stabilization, which would be a noticeable jump in real-world usability, enabling sharper handheld stills at slower shutter speeds, smoother handheld video without a gimbal, tighter telephoto shooting with less fatigue, and more freedom to work in challenging lighting conditions, especially for travel creators, vloggers, and run-and-gun shooters who value flexibility over bulky rigs, and paired with Canon's refined ergonomics, this camera is shaping up to be one of those tools that gets out of your way instead of fighting you, which honestly is one of the most underrated upgrades any camera can offer, because fewer missed focus shots, fewer blurry frames, and more confidence behind the viewfinder translates directly into better content and a more enjoyable shooting experience. And if you're a video-first creator, the rumored video specs are arguably even more exciting, with talk of internal 4K at up to 120 frames per second in 10-bit color using Canon Log 3, which would make the R7 Mark II a serious slow-motion powerhouse for sports highlights, cinematic B-roll, action sequences, and creative storytelling, and there are also quieter whispers about higher resolution modes like oversampled 6K or even limited 8K options with crop factors or specific codecs, which, if paired with proper heat management or active cooling, could finally put Canon's APS-C lineup on equal footing with some of the most aggressive hybrid cameras on the market, especially if features like pre-burst capture, improved rolling shutter control, and enhanced video autofocus transitions make it into the final firmware. And physically, the R7 Mark II is expected to evolve as well, possibly adopting a slightly larger and more robust body with a deeper grip inspired by the EOS R5, improved button layout, a properly placed AF joystick, a refined VARI angle or vertical tilt LCD for easier shooting in awkward positions, and an upgraded OLED electronic viewfinder around the 2.36 million dot range with better refresh rates and clarity, 
which matters more than spec sheets suggest when you're tracking fast subjects for hours at a time. Plots are heavily expected, likely combining CF Express Type B for speed and reliability with UHS-2 SD for flexibility and backups, a setup that appeals to professionals who care about redundancy just as much as performance. And then there are the smaller quality of life upgrades that tend to define how a camera feels over months of use, like cleaner and more intuitive menus, faster in-camera processing, potential AI-assisted upscaling, better battery efficiency, improved wireless workflows, and overall polish that Canon tends to deliver when they're fully committed to a product line. And of course the big question remains timing. Because while some insiders claim early units are already circulating internally or among testers, others caution that the launch is not as imminent as social media hype might suggest. And if you look at Canon's historical release patterns, a late 2025 announcement makes far more sense than an early fall drop, pointing toward a Q4 reveal somewhere between October and December, possibly aligned with major industry events but not rushed into an overcrowded launch window, with actual availability potentially slipping into early 2026 in certain regions due to manufacturing scale up, supply chain realities, and regional logistics, which might frustrate some buyers but could be justified if Canon is truly betting on a stacked sensor APS-C platform that needs time to mature. And when it comes to pricing, expectations are that the EOS R7 Mark II will land higher than its predecessor, with body-only estimates hovering around $1,799 to $1,999 USD, and popular kit options like the 18 to 150 mm pushing total prices into the $2,100 to $2,500 range, driven by advanced sensor technology, faster processes, higher video specs, and global economic pressures like tariffs and component costs. And that brings us to the practical decision most creators are facing right now, whether to buy now or wait, because the current EOS R7 is still a very capable camera that delivers excellent autofocus, solid video, and strong stills performance. But if you're someone who prioritizes extreme speed, silent shooting, next-generation stabilization, and cutting-edge hybrid video features in an APS-C body that punches well above its weight, then waiting for the Canon EOS R7 Mark II could be the smarter long-term move, especially if the stacked sensor, electronic shutter, and 4K 120p rumors prove accurate. So the real question becomes which feature matters most to you, the potential 40 frames per second silent shooting, the improved IBIS and autofocus intelligence, or the promise of high-end video tools in a compact crop sensor camera, because if Canon delivers even most of what's being rumored, the R7 Mark II won't just be an update, it'll be a statement about the future of APS-C mirrorless cameras.